In this video, I would like to use my book, The Introduction to Turk's Head Knots, and show how to tie a 15 part, 12 bite, 3 pass, type 3 pineapple knot. And it will be tied from this 10 part, 8 bite, 2 pass, type 2 pineapple knot that we did the video on that was tied from a 5 part, 4 bite casa knot. And when we did it, we followed this algorithm diagram on the bottom. And the 3 pass, type 3 pineapple knot is 3, 3 five part, four bite casa knots tied together. So the algorithm diagram is the same as we did on the previous video. But as a review, I'd like to go over how you set up the algorithm for the five part, four bite casa knot so that you know that that is how the the pineapple algorithm is set up. So if you're doing a different size, you'd have to use a different algorithm. And it's set up the same way. And you have these two formulas that we use. It's parts divided by bytes equals N plus R. And the second formula is bytes minus R equals V, R count value. So we've got a five part knot and a four byte knot. So it's five divided by four equals one plus one. So we go to our other formula. We got four bytes. Our R value is one. So it's four minus one equals three. Threes are count value, so we put the number of dots of the number of bytes we have in this casa knot. And we start by putting a zero over the left dot, and we count over our count value, three. One, two, three, we place a one. Then we continue counting. One, two, three, we put a two. One, two, three, we put a three. That covers all the dots, so we are complete. Now, we draw our coating. The number of coatings in the knot is one less than the number of parts. So we have four coatings. So we have an under, over, under, over. And above the left hand one, we start with the second number in because the zero is the, the bite boundary out here on the edge. So we go three, two, one, and then we repeat zero. Then at the bottom, we do it in reverse from right to left. So we have three, two, one, zero. And then for convenience, I always write in the, the U's and the O's for the overs and unders. And going from left to right in an up, upward direction, this would be an under. That's an over. That's an under. That's an over. For the bottom, going from right to left in an upwards direction, that's an under, that's an over, that's an under, that's an over. Now, for this 15 part, 12 byte, three pass, type three pineapple knot, this is how you set up an algorithm diagram for tying a pineapple knot. And the number of passes is the A value. So A equals three for the number of passes. Okay. The L is the number of the left bite boundary. In the knot we're tying, the knot we're going to, the bite boundary we're going to be on on the left is number three. See, this is number one. That's number two. That's number three. We're on the third bite boundary in from the left side. 
on the right hand side, here's the three byte boundaries and we are on byte boundary number one. So R equals one. And this part of the algorithm diagram is just right there. That's the center. And to do it for a pineapple, we add a, an under on this side and an under on that side. Now we have to put in L minus one, A minus one, A minus one, A minus one, and R minus one across the top. And then we do the same thing across the bottom with R minus one, A minus one, A minus one, A minus one, and L minus one. So let's put those values in. L minus one, so L is three, so that would be a two. A minus one, A is a three, so that's a two. So that's a two, that's a two. R minus one is zero, so we put a zero over that. And then down here, we do the same thing. R minus one is zero. A minus one, so these are all twos. And L minus one is also a two. Now, whenever we come to the count value that we are looking for, for that half cycle, that will make these values increase by one. So let's tie our knot. And this is the 10 part, eight byte, two pass type two pineapple. And we are going to come in here and we want to be on the right hand side of the second knot. So this brown string is our second knot and we're going in to bite boundary number three. So we have to go in under two to get to that bite boundary. Now on our first half cycle we have an under two so we go under two more so we went under four to get into the knot and now we're just following the right side of the second knot and we'll do over two under two over two over two under two over two now we are on half cycle number two and we're looking for the zero of our count value and it's right there. So this is an over. So that makes this a three. So we've got over, over two, under two, over three, under two. And remember with these type one or type two and type three pineapples we're going here we're on this outside bite boundary number one so we have to skip a bite normally when you're following these the last one you come out is where you go back in but on these you've got to skip a bite and we're going over two under two and now we're following the left hand side of the primary knot so there's our over two or under two and here's our over three and we split that pair and go under two and on this side we're on bite boundary number three so we're right here we're on line three looking for the zero right there's the zero so that makes this a three. So we've got under two, over two, under two, over three. Under two, and that puts us in on the right hand side of our second knot. Over two, under two, over three, out of the knot. And we pull that down just so that it gets into our bite boundary number three, right there. We skip this outside bite. We're looking for the one. 
So that makes that a three. So we got over two, under two, or under three, over three, under two. Okay, skip the bite, go over two, under three, split the pair, over three, split the pair, under two. Twist out a little. I still got a little twist. There we go. Now we're at the top. We're looking for one. It's right there. So that makes that a three. So it's under two, over two, under three, over three. We go back in the same hole we come out of. And do our under two, over two, under three, over three. And we're at the top. We're looking for the two. It's right there. Makes that a three. So we got over three, under three, over three, under two. We skip this outside bite. Over three, under three, over three, under two. Now, on the top, we're looking for two. It's right there. So that makes that a three. So it's under two, over three, under three, over three. We go in the same hole we come out of. Under two, over three, under three, over three out of the knot. Now down here, we're looking for the three. It's right there. So this becomes an under one. So we're going to go under one, over three, under three, over three, under two. We skip this outside bite, go under one, just like that. Now we go over three, those two, and that, see our pair? Over three, split the pair, under three, split the pair, over three, and straighten this out so we can see it. We go over three, Split that pair, we go under two, and that brings us to the standing end of our interweave knot. And we're just going to turn and go right under there alongside of it to complete our 15 part, 12 bite, three pass, because it's going over three and under three, type three, because... The primary knot that is on bite boundary number one is on bite boundary number three. But another way to look at it is you have three knots the same size as the primary knot. So it is a type three pineapple knot. I hope you'll try to tie this knot and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.